are there only 10 semiotic signs? Surely there are infinite possibilities. Firstly, yes, there are obviously infinite possibilities of semiotic signs. Secondly, remember, semiotic signs are not tangible things, but meaning bearing visually encoded entities. Thirdly, we are talking classifications of semiotic sign action power. Peirce defines in his wonderfully conceptually detailed but obtuse way, 10 classifications of semiotic signs. Let us get our heads around them, eh? Welcome to episode 15, season three of Semiosis 101, where we explain Charles Sanders Peirce's semiotic theory of semiosis sign action in designer centric terms. If you've watched Semiosis 101 episodes before, then you already know I am Dave Wood. I use Semiosis 101 on YouTube, Patreon, and Substack to provide a designer-centric translation of Charles Sanders Peirce's Semiosis Theory of Semiosis Sign Action. Why do you need Semiosis 101? Peirce's writing and terminology is very obtuse. On Semiosis 101, I translate Peirce's brilliant theory into the language creators will understand and can follow. After all, we study design and illustration and not philosophy. So we need theory centered to creators' needs. Yes, that's why you need Semiosis 101. Season three's semiotic theme is semiotic encoding with a focus on how audiences make interpretations. What this season's theme means to you as visual communicators is that at long last, you will see what semiotic science can be, are, will be. We will build your confidence to encode semiotic sign action into your own designs or illustrations during your own ideation phase to enhance visual communication. Early in season one, I introduced Pairs 10 sign classifications over two episodes. Check out episodes 1.7 and 1.8. These episodes could only set the scene and I promised I would eventually come back to the subject. Well, here we are at last. The previous 14 episodes of season three have provided enough theoretical context to begin to explain these sign classifications. The next three episodes will deal with the so what question too. Hit subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will explain. So what if there are 10 semantic signs? How does that help? Quite right. Knowing how something is structured is not the same as a positive impact on how you design or illustrate. So let us begin from the impact on visual communication back to the theory this episode. On Semiosis 101, I have stressed semiotics is not a mechanical engineering approach. It is not a how-to step-by-step manual. Communication is between humans, the creative and the target audience. It is qualitative, not quantitative. We have spent a lot of time across two seasons exploring how audiences interpret and how semiosis enhances and improves the visual communication successes. In episode 3.6, I described Pierce's first sign class in three words, possible, familiar, instant. From a creative's application point of view, what benefit does that knowledge provide you as creators? Possible, familiar, instant. Whoopie do, so what? Yes, you are entitled to ask that question. Let me answer that quickly, but in doing so, I will build on this quick answer over the next three weeks. Craft design and illustration has a complex job to do, to bear meaning through type, image, or both, beyond the denotational level. Visual communication in global 21st century societies has to work a lot harder to visually communicate above the social, cultural, visual noise. While the visual noise of competing visual outputs gets louder and louder, it is easier for people to disengage. Instead of competing with this escalating visual noise, semiosis offers a different tack. As semiosis involves the audience as interpreter, what they see, the mindful alignment of semiotic thinking with ideation aids the creative to work smarter, not louder. This is where Pierce's 10 sign classifications can structure a smarter way to visually communicate. As I have previously summarized, we can describe the semantic sign action power of each sign class in three terms. Sign one's sign action power can be described as possible, familiar, instant. Each of the remaining nine signs can also be reduced to three words. But again, so what? A perceptual change in a creator's approach to designing or illustration 
can be, in the long term, more productive than learning a new tool in Adobe Creative Suite software. We are talking about becoming smarter about how you visually communicate. Small perceptual changes in creatives can enhance your ideation and impact on how you design or illustrate more effectively. These small changes I mentioned obviously come from applying semiosis. These perceptual changes via semiosis also will impact positively on how the target audience reacts to what they see. Remember, our desire while the visual noise escalates is to offer our target audiences a quieter and more direct connection to what we are visually communicating. This brings us back to possible familiar instance and the 10 sign classifications. Let me explain. The first word describes the perception power of the sign. The second word describes how the meaning is represented. The third word describes the type of vehicle that the sign uses to carry the meaning. In this episode, we will avoid Pierce's obtuse terminology in favor of designer-centric terms. We will revisit his terminology next week when we will discuss the sign vehicle concept in more depth. So let us now examine these three word descriptions. In episode 3.6, I explained these three word descriptions. To quickly paraphrase what I said, the first word in three explains the power the sign has to convey meaning to the audience. The second, the power of semantic representation used. And the third, how the audience receives it via the sign vehicle used to convey the encoded meaning. Let me now break this down in more detail to explain what these mean to designers and illustrators so that you can begin to appreciate the semantic sign power you can enhance your ideation with. First, I will outline the semantic power the sign has to convey meaning to the audience. For regular viewers, it will come as no surprise that sets of three interdependent levels or triads will feature quite heavily. So, on to the first term. Let us begin with the perception power of the semiotic sign. This empowers the intensity of the semiotic communication from simple to complex. Pierce illustrates his 10 semiotic sign classes in an inverted pyramid. When looking at Pierce's 10 sign classes, we read them in rows diagonally downwards from sign one. In doing so, we can see classes one, two, three, five, six, and eight are grouped in the top left section of the pyramids. These have a perception power of possible intensity of semiotic communication. Below them are a strip of signs four, seven, and nine with an intensity of the suggested. Sign 10 in the top right-hand corner has an intensity of the resolved. We will return to Pierce's terms for Semiosis 101's designer-centric terms in the next two episodes. Returning to Pierce's inverted pyramid of 10 semiotic sign classes, we can now outline the representation power of communicating the concept. Now we can see that classes 1, 2 and 5 are grouped in a smaller top left section of the pyramid. These each have a familiar semiotic representation power level. Under this power level, the larger grouping is at the bottom of the pyramid, grouping signs 3, 4, 6 and 7 with representation power of existence. A smaller grouping in the top right hand corner of 8, 9 and 10 has a representation power of proxy. I'm sensing a collective shout of SO WHAT welling up in the audience. But indulge me for one more minute. I am nearly there with the theoretical context to give you the big finish. Finally, we can outline the semiotic delivery power of the effect of the sign on an interpreter. Pierce's inverted pyramid of 10 semiotic sign classes now show a different power level combination as a quality that can be perceived as ephemerally meaning bearing. Sign one is the only sign class that has an instant sign vehicle. The next sign vehicle level is mediated and the sign classes that use this delivery power level are grouped together as a strip of sign classes two, three, and four. This means that sign classes five to 10 are at the delivery power level of agreed. Pierce defines this highest delivery power level as not a single object, but a general type, which it has been agreed shall be significant. Now we have mapped out the theory. Let me answer the so what. Like with any aspect of learning to be creative, the exploration is more elongated than its actual application. 
So the so what question is easily answered in an equally long and short way. Let's get the short answer to the so what question out of the way first. So what? Because. There. That is the short glib answer. Now the longer answer. To summarise in a design-centric way, the three levels of three states which each sign class is powered by can be listed as Perception power, possible suggested resolves Representation power, familiar existence proxy Delivery power, instant mediated agreed Each level exists in one of the phenomenological levels of first, the second, and thirdness Each of the ten sign classes' power comes from how the perception, representation and delivery interact in the next episode, we will go deeper, but to end this episode, let me just list the 10 signs power in designer-centric terms. 1. Possible familiar instant. 2. Possible familiar mediators. 3. Possible existence mediators. 4. Suggested existence mediators. 5. Possible familiar agreed. 6. Possible existence agreed. 7. Suggested existence agreed. 8. Possible proxy agreed. 9. Suggested proxy agreed. And 10. Resolved proxy agreed. What the lay viewer can see from this list beyond any initial word soup are combinations of how semantic sign action can enhance the effectiveness of visual communication. It is up to the individual creative if they wish to become more successful at visually communicating. If so, the so what question is actually redundant. If not, then fine. But you will miss out on a strategy to get beyond the barrier of visual noise. See you all again next week for more Semiosis 101 to help illustrators and designers to enhance your visual communication skills.